Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to the episode of Spinning Venom, aka the Venom Blog. And again, not a lot of movie news this week. I, you know, I, I don't know what to say. It's just a slow time right now. I don't even know if they're filming right now, to be honest with you. In Atlanta, I think uh, I think they maybe took like an extended, you know, time off, or maybe they're shooting on sound stages and they're not out and about in Atlanta, so people aren't, you know, able to get pictures and and, and give any updates, which is totally fine. You know, normally every movie hits this period where, uh, in the filming of it or the making of it, there's just no news for a while uh, but that usually means that when they go quiet like this there's going to be a ton of news coming up you know pretty soon and like I said I feel like the Deadpool movie if we don't already get a trailer for Venom before then I feel like that's a good place to put a trailer for Venom is at the front of the Deadpool 2 movie so you know we'll see hopefully we'll get something before then some more updates but uh, time will tell. So for now, I'm going to talk about comic book stuff. Um, in the next episode, I'll probably go ahead and film it this weekend and put it up for you guys. Uh, we're going to break down Planet of the Symbiotes because we already did uh, Lethal Protector. And that's one of the storylines the movie is apparently taking inspiration from. And the other storyline is Planet of the Symbiotes. So we're going to look at Planet of the Symbiotes probably in the next episode because I imagine it's going to be slow all week for movie news for Venom. Uh, but what we're going to talk about today is actually some news that just dropped about the comic books. Uh, so yeah, I want to cover a lot more comic book stuff on here and Venom is definitely getting pumped up because it's his 30th anniversary so Marvel has a lot of plans for this character in the new year in 2018 here so I'm that's great that's great for this show for sure uh, but actually what I want to talk about first is this my friend uh, my roommate and friend Kevin got me this for Christmas which is the trade paperback of Venomverse and this actually ties into what we're going to talk about today so I may do a review of this coming up but I want to get Plan of the Symbiotes and maybe like you know some other storylines first but I will definitely do a review of this trade paperback coming up I really enjoyed it though overall and it sets up a storyline that I was worried wouldn't pay off or get a chance to get paid off but apparently you know there was enough buzz about this book enough people liked it that Marvel's going to go forward with a follow-up to it. So first what we're going to see is the X-Men Venom crossover, which we talked about, which I think is coming in uh, February, and that'll have uh, Venom teaming up with the five original X-Men and Jimmy and whoever the new members are, and they're going to be going, you know, into dimensions to deal with other symbiotes, I guess. Uh, and one of the references was um, the poisons. They, they mentioned like something about the poisons, which are the enemies and villains of this storyline. Uh, they're like an alien race that are kind of symbiote-like, and they take over different characters, uh, Doctor Doom, Spider-Man. I won't spoil any more than that. If you haven't read Venomverse, uh, definitely pick up the trade. It's out right now, so pick it up either in print and support your local comic shops or pick it up digitally at a good price. Uh, either one, it's a great read. Uh, but uh, then after, I guess, the X-Men crossover with Venom in February and leading into March, in April, a new series is coming out. And Nerdist just posted it, so I'm going to put the link down below. Uh, and they showed some image, like cover art image, I guess. And it's uh, the title of the article by Blair Marnell. So thank you, Blair, for this information. Venom will completely take over the Marvel Universe in a new series. Uh, so I'll just read a little excerpt here. Uh, 2018 is shaping up to be a big year for Venom. Sony has given Venom a feature film starring Tom Hardy, and Marvel has given him the entire freaking universe. Uh, this April, Venom will be at the forefront of Venomized, a five-issue event series that will release weekly. And this time, Marvel's heroes will be under attack from two fronts. Uh, so yeah, that's just like the little blurb. I'll let you read the rest of it down below. But basically, you're going to see Venom and uh, and the Marvel Universe, you know, having to deal with the poison. So in the poison storyline in Venomverse, it ends with a very big, you know, Marvel villain, a uh, very powerful Marvel villain who has been taken over by a poison. And he has uh, this army amassed of other very powerful poisons. And apparently they're going to find their way, since they've almost completely conquered their universe, they're going to find their way into the Marvel Universe. And there is some spoilers, though, for the beginning of the story of uh, Venom and the X-Men and kind of their fate at the end of uh, the crossover uh, that they're going to have in, in, in March and leading into April. So, um, I, you know, if you don't want to read the article because it has spoilers, I'll let you know now that there is some spoilers in the article about the potential one portion, I guess, of the ending of... Um, of the you know the, the x-men uh venom crossover which i wish you know marvel has kind of a history of doing this by spoiling things i wish they just left this little blurb out you know like i'm gonna do in this video it doesn't make any sense but whatever it's it's there if you want to read it it's not a huge spoiler but it's you know just a little something that you'll it'll 
it changes the way you think the story is going to begin, I guess. Uh, so yeah, so that information in the link down below. Venomized, it releases on Wednesday, April 4th. That's issue one, and it's going to come out every week. And I think that's because leading up to May, May, uh, which is my birthday month, and coincidentally is also the same month uh, the, of the 30th anniversary of Venom. So like I said, we're going to have a lot of content to cover on this channel, not just from the movies, but from the comic books as well. So you guys let me know what you think of this news. Uh, I appreciate you guys always supporting me, and thanks for sticking with me while we're in this little lull right now from the movie but uh, trust me I'm sure a lot of movie news is coming very very soon as always like share subscribe all that fun stuff I'll see you in the future peace